animated short Rondo across countless Kalpas. So this was a little bit of the uh, Kafka. Nope, not Kafka. Acheron and Black Swan dancing. All that little teaser. We saw like 10 seconds of that. And this is a five minute like episode. So anime style, Mihayo anime. I don't see a new one, but I'm ready. The remembrance is no different than the sea. Never gaze upon its surface on a starless night. <laughs> Hello. For someone. That was her dance partner. Then, how about a dance? It was... it was Akira. How could you say no to Black Swan? My gaze has lingered on her for quite a while. And tonight, I initiate her first engagement. A galaxy ranger. As mysterious as the rumors suggest. Sheesh. A blend of nobility and reticence. Yet in this nocturnal Middle of the stage, too. The ranger is not the only one who hunts. At this distance, you're more enchanting than you seem. Without a doubt. She seeks the watchmaker's legacy. In this game, Whoa. everyone Hold up. But memories do not. Where are we now? <laughs> it just keeps on getting better, doesn't it? Everyone has a past, and the past shapes the present. Is she looking into Some her history right now? On to memories, while others are haunted by them, unable to escape. That is why I took action. I want to know what she is. Do it. <laughs> Many were drawn to this feast. The IPC. The Garden of Recollection. Fools. The Nameless. And... Fools. The Annihilation Gang. They should have been present, but... Duke Inferno is dead. Ooh. He and his children won't be attending. What have you done, beautiful ranger? What did you do? Oh, like swan with the, the feathers. Oh, dang. at her past who are the annihilation gang oh because she my gaze has lingered on her for quite a while hasn't got and there tonight yet it's our final engagement a galaxy ranger no i've made a grave mistake Everyone has a past, but for some, their past is, is their a future. Silent, a 
abyss. Oh. Filled with those who drowned in it. Annihilation gang. Annihilation gang. Doesn't it remember? No. Oh. Those guys. What? <laughs> what? Are you serious? Oh yeah. The Annihilation Gang. <laughs> like all that? Just for, the, for that at the end? <laughs> I will say, I was going to say in the beginning, it was very impressive how they were dancing like that and like 10 inch high heels. But that was like really cool how she's kind of looked into her mind, so to speak. And ended up, you know, in this state of just like terror and fear in the end. Like, look at her face. Who are. Who is the Annihilation, the Annihilation Gang? Gang? They didn't even sound like uh, Lego Clark. Like a. Oh, kind of like Layla? Yeah, kind of like, like two different this has lingered on settings. For quite a while. And tonight is our final engagement. Galaxy hmm. Ranger. No. I've made a grave mistake. Well, maybe like, yeah. Not a real Galaxy Ranger. Because the whole thing about Akron was like, you know, she's kind of living through the past. So I was wondering if she never got to the uh, Annihilation Gang yet because she's still working her way back. That's what I was thinking, but... Apparently, in the end, she's just like, oh, yeah, those guys. <laughs> so, oh, isn't Nihility known for, like, forgetting things? So they're, they're, like, forgetful? Annihilation gang. Annihilation gang. Something like that, right? With a Nihility path? Oh, those guys. Did she, like, think of it, or was she, did she look up? Let's just think of it. Yeah, okay. Oh. The Tezzeroth vibes in the video, red, black, and yeah, nice. white on the screen. Looks like the Black Swan bit off more than she can chew. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, definitely. She wasn't ready, basically. The swan died. Look like at Cheetah chasing a deer. And then the bear chasing a rabbit. Hyena's chasing like a cow or like a bull. Shark eating a bunch of fish. Spider crawling away from. Couldn't tell on that one. Yeah, deer or goat. And the spider getting got by like a fly? Oh no, that looks like a fly getting got by like a Venus. What's it called? Venus flytrap? That one's kinda hard to spot right there. Yeah, Venus flytrap got the got the fly. Or oh, the spider. And then there's the Nihility path. And it's Black Swan <laughs> dying. <laughs> wow, dude, what a trailer. So we got the Black Swan like room. Essentially, like where she kind of has her ulti. And we got her in front of a bunch of roses. Or like someone holding roses. That's what it looks like. Maybe her holding the roses? And the past shapes the present. There's a man like with a, oh yeah, there's a man like with a gun like looking up at her like trying to protect himself. Look at these, the, the end all be all. He's like, no, I'll shoot. Some people hmm. hold on to memory. There's her walking alone with the moon in the background. By them. There's her with the umbrella, like her, like her, her art, splash art. Oh, oh, I see the man, yeah. It's like the, the big old kind of samurai looking hat. Wonder who that was to her. I want hmm. to know what she is. You don't want to know what she is. 
This kind of just looks like is that like a, is that a horn? Like the Duke Inferno horn? Yeah, it kind of looks like his head. Hmm. Or uh, no, maybe it's just like... No, could be. You all kind of have horns. Oh, some... Oh, yeah, his monocle. Yeah, his monocle. So that was like representing what she actually did to the whole team. Just destroy them. Very quick dancing. <laughs> Those who follow on the heli path admire laziness, exhaustion, and meaningless behavior. Hmm. You know, you would you would think by hearing those words that you would just be like somebody who's just slumped over, not doing anything at all. You know, I wouldn't think like that. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's true. I guess the the meaningless behavior part really. <laughs> It really comes to fruition. But I guess like the, the personality reflects all those qualities. Yeah, this is a really good video. There's a lot of like secret things in here. And secret meanings. Oh, yeah, then there's Pella. Laziness, yeah, exhaustion. Oh, finality and burst mode, or like her red. Arlecchino mode, yeah. So like basically, yeah, so you're right, like two different personalities, like kind of like the Layla, like you were saying, two different kind of people in one. But basically I take from that, two different personalities Acheron has, the red version and the purple version. Purple version's a lot more the Nihility style, of course, because usually everything is purple with Nihility. Um, Black Swan kind of read into her mind and of course saw all the things that she did not want to see. She wouldn't get, get out of there like crazy. Got all messed up. You can see her face at the end. It was like, what did I just witness? <laughs> then there's all the examples of like Black Swan being the, you know, bunny or the deer or the fish or the bug. With Acheron always being the thing that's chasing after its prey. And yeah, now we just kind of have to wait and see what exactly Acheron did in her past. But I'm still kind of stuck on the whole, like, her living backwards kind of thing. That didn't really seem like it was applied too much here, but... Some, people hold some on hold to on to the memories, and some haunted are haunted by it, wanting to escape. To escape. That is which, is, which, ironically, was kind of her for a second there. I took action. And then that's when she says, I've made a great mistake. Turns out... Some just have a silent abyss and people pull up people who drowned in it. Oh, whoa, what the heck? What in the world? Twitter had like nothing. Twitter had the first two lines. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, hold up, hold the phone. The dual planets were intertwined in each other's tragic destiny, dancing an eternal rondo around in a pitch black great sun. In the beginning, one of the planets gave a uh, rise to humans. Okay. These people looked down and named the land below Izumo. These people looked up and named the world above Takamagahara? Takamagahara? Sorry, I'm butchering that. One day, uh, uninscribed in the, an in the annals, the Yao Yorgzo no Kami, descended from that place, is the monog uh, beast named Kami overturned the skies, burned the rivers and oceans, and shattered the land. People realized in horror that it was not an invasion of for rulership, dominance, or plunder. <laughs> That's very. Kami. <laughs> the evil Kami came only to kill. So Kami invaded uh, Takama Takamagahara. Hmm. So the follow poke. Ten out of ten trailer. Yeah, the trailer was amazing. Yeah, it was good. 
So Izumu was a planet that oh that Sparkle was in on her trailer. Oh, okay. So Kami came to kill, only to do evil. As the planet stood on the brink of death, Izumo embarked on a Kami slaying journey. Wait, Izumo embarked on a Kami slaying journey. That's the place. So I guess the people of the place embarked on a Kami slaying journey, exhausting the might of the entire country to slay the calamity sovereign of revelation and forging a very first uh, edict edge using its uh, bestial body. Giving the Kami a taste of their own medicine, the wielder of these swords can recite the mantra contained within the blade to master the divine power of Takamahara or Takamagarahara and use it to use it in combat or use it to combat the evil Kami that uh, and save the masses. Hmm. So y'all embarked on a journey to take out the Kami. They exhausted the might of the Sovereign of Revelation to use the Edict Edge. So it kind of went, came back at them. We said the mantra, or the, the mantra, and took the power of this place that was above them, and to take them out. Okay. From then on, uh, Izumo sort of started its long and audacious crusade, exchanging inordained lives lost for the fall of one kami after another, shattering countless mortal blades to forge the twelve sentinels. In the merciless fights for survival, Izumo used the might of edict edges to light up their uncivilized world of darkness in less than ten amber eras, building cities of dazzling neon lights. That distance, uh, Takuma, Divine Realm, Takuma Divine Realm, once so far away, became so close within their reach. Yet history suddenly stopped there. The existence of the two planets instantly evaporated, disappearing into nothingness. So they both did? Really? Nowadays, the past of the border planet Izumo can only be gleaned from the scattered whispers in the universe. No, I mean, I thought we were going to go <laughs> there. Uh, academics hold various views regarding the disappearance, but none can solve the mystery. Inazumo's history should have been... Should have been a long flowing river, but it was severed in one cut and all its past and future voided on on emptiness on. Oh, wait, sorry. And all its past and future past and future voided on emptiness's other shore. Hmm. And there's yeah, there's emptiness, past and future. So key words here to look out for history. Did it never exist? And was it no more than a fabricated story? Did its histories never occur and it ran aground on a beach of reverse causation? Was it yet another appalling experiment, experiment by Dr. Primitive? Or was it a sign of veracity returning from the end of Cosmos? A lot of questions. Only that pitch black great sun knows the answer, yet they remain silent, never speaking. Because everything that happened will one day regress to the end, and everything that had everything that had ended is guaranteed to happen again. The universe undergoes an internal uh, recurrence under their shadow and Inazuma <laughs> and Izuma or Izumo. It is nothing more than the footnote for an uh, ellipsis. Ellipsis? Ellipsis. So everything got destroyed? Rest oh, I thought, yeah. Oh, yeah, he did. Tazeroth. <laughs> Next planet, Inazuma. Got there. Dr. Primitive. Dr. Primitive is the... Wait, wasn't he the... He was the, um... It's the last name. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He was the, the one of the pictures in the um the space station genius society. Hmm. Doctor Primitive, rumored to be an inorganic entity, is number sixty-four of the Genius Society, a notorious criminal who is known for his mastery of gravity capture technology. This is going deep. Hmm. In fact, when I ended up joining us on the Astro Express, oh gosh, I wanted like something like Hazel's story quest to possess sword or something. It does seem like that, yeah. So essentially they got destroyed, the two planets. I guess once we get that planner next batch, we can read the like the lore for that and see what on earth actually happened. Yeah, some kind of like cursed effect or something. Like, you know, she kind of got taken over. She has a couple of her own personal takes, but something's definitely wrong, that's for sure. And the people of Izumo and the people of uh, Takamagahara they all tried to band together and, or no, sorry, the these they they came from that place and then the Kami tried to overtake the the place. But Izumo embarked together to try and take them down, and they used different resources to their ability, the Edict's Edge, to take them out. But it doesn't look like they were successful. That's probably the the end all be all right there. Also, every other every other place looks fine. This is the only place that has some kind of like thing on top of it. This weird aura. Hmm. 